Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I'm so excited to be bringing God's truth to you. Now, we've been talking this week. Listen, I'm so excited by these things we're talking about. See, we're talking about you fulfilling what God has spoken concerning you. And let me tell you the truth. The people, the atmosphere, everything that is required for you to fulfill God's will for your life is already available. Now, listen. You are never far away from God's purpose for your life. Say, no, 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 but I feel so far from God right now. I feel so far. It's a feeling. I'm telling you the truth. God will never. Now, hear me. That's why we have angels. That's what they are doing. They have your scripts. It doesn't matter how disobedient you are. Your life will never get to that point where it can never be repaired. No way. Remember what Psalm 91 says. David said in Psalm 91, he says, He has given his angels charge over us. See? And they keep me in all my ways. They shall bear me up in their hands, lest I dash my foot against a stone. Now, let me tell you. Oh. Listen. This is what happens or what God does for every child that is born into this world. I'm telling you the truth. So it's not about because one is a Christian. Listen, you being born again brings you into life um, awareness and activity. And now you can begin to function from the place of knowledge and understanding. The man who's not born again cannot function in the place of knowledge and understanding. But that doesn't mean that God didn't give him angels to guide him. Now that's why if you're hearing me right now and you are not born again, it's just your time to get saved. Why? Because it is God and the angels that have led you to this point that you are listening to me right now. You see, that's the job the angels do. They bring you to places where you hear the word of God. They bring you to places where you hear things that will connect you to your destiny. So you keep hearing them. If you missed it yesterday, they will make sure they bring it again today. Because that angel is going to be queried if you stray far from God's purpose for your life. So you are never far from God's purpose. You see, it's just next door. You see, wherever you find yourself, it's just the next door away. Now then, what do I need to do as a person? What, what kind of attitude do I keep? Now you remember Joseph. Now Joseph was one person, I, I, I normally say this, if you were Joseph's pastor, you know, now he comes to you and says, Pastor, I've suffered in my life. So oh, really, what happened? You know, I was the... Um, one of the last children of my parents, my mother died, and then uh, my brothers hate me. Every time I, I try to do good things, people hate me for it. I dream, wonderful dream, and I share with them instead of them to rejoice with me. Now, this my, my own brothers, they, they hate me the more, and then they sold me as a slave, you know, for nothing. In fact, they wanted to kill me. It was just by the mercy of God that they changed their mind and they sold me into slavery. I got into this master's house and then everything seemed to be going well until so the truth is the, my master promoted me at some point. I became the chief servant. I was in charge of everything. I was in charge of all his money. I, I said, are you serious? But then, you know, trouble struck. The wife decided to accuse me and then I was thrown in prison. I don't know what's wrong. Seems anytime, you know, near success syndrome, you know. Anytime I'm about to make progress in my life, something terrible happened. Which, which, which demon would you think is affecting Joseph? What? Just think about it. But guess what? All those things that happened in Joseph's life landed him into his destiny. But there was one thing about Joseph, and that's what I'm going to read to you. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 14 and 15. Philippians chapter 2 verse 14. Now look at verse 14. It says, Do all things without murmuring and disputing. Do everything. Oh, this is big. <laughs> Do everything. Everything without what? Murmuring and disputing. Not us. Don't complain and don't fight over it. Sometimes your fighting has kept you away from fulfilling God's destiny for your life. 
Oh, yeah. Because that challenge you, your fighting, was just what was going to lift you up. I'm telling you the truth. See, now, it is the student that passes an exam that is praised, right? So, the student must face the exam before he will pass. Now, what will make him pass or fail? His attitude. That's all. So, now he says, do all things without murmuring and disputing. Look at verse 15. That you may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God without rebuke, in the midst of the crooked and perverse nation, among whom you shine as lights in the world. Now, hold it here, because I'm going to continue from here tomorrow. See, if you get this, then you're on your way to fulfill everything that God has written concerning you. Praise God. Until tomorrow, this is Atuba Judge. God bless you. Bye-bye.